How's it going guys? Dustin with Daily Grind Fantasy and in today's video I want to walk you guys through how you should be voting on Prize Picks Tacos during the Taco Tuesday promotion where they tweet out uh, voting or you can vote in the Discord one or the other it, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and walk you through what's going to be the best way to vote to make sure we're all getting the best possible discount. Okay let's go ahead and hop over to Twitter where we're actually staring at uh, the first Prize Picks Taco vote for today Tuesday the 18th of July. However, if you're watching this video, continue watching it because this is going to help you in the future for future voting on Prize Picks Tacos. So don't worry about that. This is just happening for today. You'll get the concept by the end of this video. So we see here that Tyler Wells is actually won. I didn't even get to get a vote off because I was trying to film this video for you guys. Tyler Wells did win and it's a solid taco and we're going to look and see why that is a solid taco. But somebody else should have won. And by the end of this video, you will know who. Um, so Let's start off with the very first taco. We're going to go in order. They're, they're discounting Aaron Nala from seven to five and a half strikeouts here on prize picks. We see here, uh, let's look at the player strikeouts for Aaron Nola. Seven on prize picks, but it's actually set to six and a half on sportsbooks. So really, we're only getting a, a one strikeout uh, discount uh, when taking this uh, discount from seven to, to five and a half for the uh, taco. But compared to the sportsbooks, we're going to be taking it from six and a half to five and a half. So that, that one uh, strikeout discount. Heavily, heavily juiced, very heavily juiced on the over of six and a half strikeouts on sports books. 158 minus 160, minus 170, minus 160. So even though we're getting only the 1K uh, discount compared to the sports book, it's going to be a really, really solid option uh, when you take that into account with how heavily juiced this is for over six and a half. Let's look at the next one. It's going to be uh, Jordan Montgomery, four and a half down to three strikeouts. So it looks like uh, both prize picks and sports books with their original lines are set to four and a half and in agreement. However, there's some slight juice on the under of four and a half when we look at Jordan Montgomery uh, is what the sports books are giving it. So yeah, we're still getting the 1.5, the full 1.5 discrepancy, but heavy juice and you're only going to be pushing if you get that three number. So we're looking for our, our best bang for our buck um, at this current time between these two tacos. Uh, with, the, with the juice favoring the under of four and a half, I'm still liking uh, the Aaron Nola taco um, to go uh, five and a half there. So currently, Aaron Nola has my vote walking through these. Uh, next is going to be Bryce Harper from 1.5 total bases down to 0 0.5 total bases. This really looks like his even line uh, to go over and under is right around the same. There's slight juice, very slight juice on the over of one and a half uh, player total bases. So if we get it down to 0.5, Still going to be a really, really good plus EV option and a taco you should play if it would have been the taco. Um, you should be taking advantage of all these tacos, and I'll show you why at the end of the video. Um, but would have been would have been a solid option. Um, however, uh, not as much juice as what we would have been getting if uh, getting this at uh, for Aaron Nola at five and a half. So once again, still favoring Aaron Nola. Uh, and then we'll hop over to uh, what did end up becoming the taco, Tyler Wells. Three and a half strikeouts down from five is going to be the taco um, in this current uh, video. Uh, Tyler Wells looks like five is what the, the number original number is set to on prize picks, but his actual uh, regular number is set to four and a half on sports books. So we're really only getting that 1K discrepancy again. But solid if you look at you know the, the over of four and a half, what the sports books have it at. Good juice. Good juice on the over of four and a half. So we're still getting that three and a half number. So the one, the one K discrepancy. But if you remember the Aaron Nola taco, the juice was way more on the Aaron Nola taco, way heavier um, at minus 150, minus 160. I think there was a minus 170. Yeah, minus 170. So if we're getting that one, one K discrepancy on both of these, I want to take the one that has the more juice on the over of the, the six and a half number, um, or even maybe slightly favored to go over uh, the seven. Um, that PrizeVix originally has it at. So we're going to go with the more juice. And so I would have voted Aaron Nola on the taco um, over uh, six and a half or five and a half strikeouts for the taco. However, I want you guys to make sure you guys are taking advantage of these tacos. I'm going to show you why right now. But first, if you guys don't have a DGF membership where we compare these lines to sportsbook lines, you know, prize picks lines to sportsbook lines, underdog, parlay play, flip, hot streak, sleeper, all of these, seven day. Free trial linked in the description below. You guys can check it out. Or if you guys just want to sign up, you've been seeing these videos and seeing that it's working on Twitter and such. Also sign up uh, in the description below as well. But let's go ahead and look this up. 
This is a really cool thing. Prize Picks Taco Tracker. It, they've been tracking the tacos for 2023 and the current hit rates. Prize Picks Tacos last Tuesday went 3 and 0, hitting 68 uh for 18, you know, 68 wins, 68 wins, 18 losses, 79% hit rate. Almost an 80% hit rate on tacos. People that want, like to say fade the OG OG taco line. Uh 3 and 0 last week, awesome, good for them. But nonetheless, only hitting at 54%. So if you're not playing the tacos, you're fading the other line, you're hitting at way less of a rate than you are if you just play the tacos week in and week out. So like I said, make sure you're taking advantage of these. Hopefully you guys learned how we kind of look through and, and decide what we're going to be voting on for these taco votes. Um, and hopefully now many people watch this video and start voting how we think you should be voting and what is the right way in order to get us the best place possible as a community that are play on prize picks. Uh, we'll start getting the best possible plays. Although we're hitting at 89 or 80%. Awesome. Maybe we can hit a little bit higher if we start doing it like this all together. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you learned something, like this video, comment, and we'll see you in the next one. Let's cash.